Hey everybody, Megan Copeland here. I hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. And gosh, it is warm out today, and it has been. I'm a little nervous for the cold, but um, tonight and well, every night, I am here to just encourage you to be powerful and to be you more importantly than anything. So, hi, Emika. Hi, Nicole. So tonight, the white picket fence. I. I think all of us at one time or another have pictured the perfect house with the white picket fence. And more importantly, it kind of represents like the perfect home, the perfect life. And we all have this envision. And then as life starts to happen, it slowly is not like that at all. And I wonder, you know, why we... Um, you know, think about the white picket fence, right? Or maybe it's you're going to go live off in an exotic destination or you're going to go and change the world or you're going to go and do all these things. Um, and then when maybe it doesn't quite go the way we want or it's not the path has taken us somewhere else, we kind of start to become discouraged that perfect image, that white picket fence starts to be a barrier more than anything. And Frankly, what I say is, is break through that barrier, tear down that white picket fence, because <laughs> let's be real here. Nobody um, reads a book or watches a movie about the perfect family with the perfect house and the perfect wife or husband and the perfect kids and the perfect dogs and whatever else. We watch movies and read, read books about imperfect people who get through the trials and they have the triumphs and they get out on the end and that's what we like because we can relate to that. We all can relate to that on so many different levels. Um, but sometimes we get stuck on that perfect image and it becomes a barrier when we are not fulfilling and keep going on and we think that we're a failure or maybe we're not cut out to be doing what we're doing or we're not living the life that we had set out to do. And really... We all have the ability. Nicole, you have the ability. <laughs> Amica, you have the ability. Megan, you have the ability. We all have this ability to just make beautiful things happen. The reason we love those stories, we can look behind that white picket fence, tear it down, go to the house, and behind the walls, there's stories, there's happiness, there's joys, there's triumphs, there's also tears, sadness, defeat. And some of us have memories, experiences that we wish we would have had it been through. And though, while I wish they hadn't happened either, they are part of you. They are part of the mold you. It isn't the problem. It isn't the things that have happened to you. It's what you've done with it. it. That is the beautiful thing about it. And so when I think of that white picket fence, I think... There is nothing, that, that white picket fence has got nothing on you, it has nothing on life. You, the beauty that happens, the amazingness, the, the touches that happen, the impact, the ripple effect, whatever you want to call it, life is messy. It is. We can all, <laughs> it is messy. Um, but there's also beauty in all of it. Even in the tragedies, there's beauty in there somewhere. And sometimes we don't see it right away. And sometimes we, we won't see it. But it, they're in there, there is a hidden message, a hidden mold, those kind of things. And um, I feel like that when you're out there and you think, I mean, dream. Keep dreaming. Absolutely go for it. Make that life. Do what you're set out to do. But if your path is getting molded and you're doing that and it maybe isn't quite what you envisioned, embrace it because there is beauty in it. There is a purpose. There is a path. You're on that path for a reason. So anyways, um, that's just my little tidbit tonight and I hope you all have a fantastic one.